choose you. I'll be your personal opponent. I've been waiting. to entertain me.
You're right. When did I get this?
I'm a force of fury.
be kind of nice if you healed me soon, baby. to deal with back home. Hmm. I can already hear Isti's eternal, boring, luxury voice in my head. Would it happen to sound like this? That is so spot on, Uzume. Wow! That sounds just like... Wait. Isti? Why are we on a call with her? I'm sorry, Neptune. Since I just finished repairs, I thought to call you Swar right away. I answered this call holding the highest hopes for you both to return quickly. But hearing these complaints from Neptune is just too much. So, if you so desire, Neptune may return to tend to business over here. And, Neptune, you may very well stay in that world for eternity. Aw, oh, come on, Isti. I was only joking. You already know that's not how I feel. It was just one of those nep jokes all my fans online are into these days. A nep joke? Do you mean um... Um, it doesn't matter. You must return at once, so I may lecture you. What? Now that the device has been repaired, we must solve our energy dilemma. Yeah, I was thinking, maybe we can use this. Isn't that... a share crystal? Uzume... That's a sweet gesture, but we couldn't possibly dream of using such a precious item. That's right. Without those, how are you going to transform, huh? We can't take them. It's fine. I was able to defeat the giant thanks to you girls, and now all I got left is to crush that purple hag who likes to pop up everywhere. And, although it's not a huge amount, I'm able to receive shares from monsters now, so I don't even need these anymore. If I do need more someday, I can always just go search for some. It's okay, right, Umio? Yes, absolutely. I agree with Uzume. Thank you, Uzume. We're never gonna forget you. Yeah, neither will I. Seriously, I won't ever forget you, Nepsi. Nepgear, are you ready? Enter the coordinates I specified into the end gear. I will take care of the controls for the transfer afterwards. Um, Eastwar? Could you wait for us to return a little bit longer? What? What are you saying? Please, do not tell me Neptune's propensity for slacking off has influenced you. Our only salvation is your earnestness, Netgear. So if you take on Neptune's traits, I do not know if I could ever face our past CPUs again. Wait up. Am I being dissed right now? No. I just want to finish helping Uzume before I return home. Uzume, I'm here for you until the end. So once we defeat R4 and ensure everyone's safety here, why don't you come back with us to our world? My sister will be there, and there are so many games and food to try out. You can even check out all my gadgets. Hmm, I get it. That's what this is about. You sisters have been so kind. You care so much about someone like me, a complete stranger. Thank you, Gearzy. Then, does this mean you'll come? I'm really happy for the sentiment, but I'm sorry. I just can't go with you there. But why? It's far too lonely to stay in a world like this completely by yourself. Gearzy, this is just how it is, and you have no idea what'll happen if you stay. You gotta get home while you still can. I don't... noise these sounds they appear to be coming from outside <laughs> monsters destroy this building they ruined my plans and I will ruin their escape 
Damn, I knew it was you. Dang it. Uzume and Nep Jr. were having a touching, plot-developing moment. And you had to go break it up. That's supposed to be my job, dummy. I was getting some of my best jokes ready to make it so embarrassing for them. Do you think the nickname Seriousness Breaker just came by chance? No. I earned this name and I'm not losing it to you, Arbor. Who the hell is Arbor? And I don't even need your ridiculous second name. Then, what's your objective? <gasps> Are you trying to steal my spot as the protagonist? Hmm. Mega Dimension Destructor R4. Well, now that you mention it, taking your spotlight sounds like a brilliant idea. Ha! Hey, did you hear that, Nep Jr.? Mega Dimension Destructor R4. You shouldn't laugh, Neptune. Not when she's so serious. But, I mean, using the name Destructor? It's so freaking lame. I believe her intentions may have been Destroyer, but... Who's to say, really? Uh, shut up! Always finding a way to make a mockery of me. You will not be forgiven, brats. Dee! You're so cute when you're all red and embarrassed, Arfie. You should leave her be, big sis. The last thing you want to do is cross the line with a crazy person. Actually, she's right. She's clearly not thinking straight to be dressing like that at her age. Even more so than youngsters these days. We have no idea what she'll do if she snaps. We must treat her delicately. How dare you fools continue to gossip about my impeccable fashion sense! My original plan was only to cast you all into the depths of despair, but that's changed. I will end you here and now. Cast into the depths of despair. The depths of despair, she says. What is this? A freshman poetry class? I've never seen anyone outside a game use that phrase. What a riot. Nepsi's instigations are also at fault. And it seems her resistance to being appropriately serious is a problem as well. I won't allow any further insults, you scum! Go, my monsters! Crush those dwarfs and take down the entire building! Let's do our best! Go! Buster! Go! Go! Leave it to me! What's wrong? 
I expected more from you CPUs. There are just too many. We're overwhelmed. Let's take cover in that building for now. You're really telling me to show my back to this pop-up jackass? Way past uncool. Uzume, calm yourself. Her objective is to destroy the transfer terminal and prevent Nepsi and Gearsy from leaving this world. We don't have to face her directly, or even fight her fairly. As long as our friends here escape, we can consider this battle won. Alright, I get it now. If that's the case, then let's hurry it up and get him out of here. Nepsi, Gearsy, let's fall back to the terminal! What? We're not even done here! Yeah, Uzume, there's still lots of monsters! Change of plan. I'll get you up to speed in a little bit. Just get inside ASAP. It'll probably be a while before they can clear a path to the entrance here. Jeez, that hag's personality is super rotten. Bringing along a horde of monsters to attack us right at the last second. Dumb. What should we do, though? There are so many! Hey, why are you sweating it, Gearsy? It's seriously nothing to worry about. I'm gonna transfer you guys now. Hurry and get inside the terminal. Just a dang minute! No way! We can't just leave you with this horde right outside! It's totally cool. Compared to that giant, these wimps don't mean a thing. That must have been the door breaking down. We have no time. Get in the terminal, you two. Gearsy, give Eastwar the transfer signal. My preparations are complete. I am aware of your situation via the end gear as well. Okay, you two are in. Good. I didn't think our farewell would be this hectic, but hey, you stay safe when you get back, all right? Only if you promise not to push yourself, Uzume. I promise. As soon as you two leave, I'm gonna make a run for it. I've found you, little brats. Oh, crap. She's already here. See you, Nepsi and Gearsy. Transfer initiated. I'm too late. You will pay for this with your life. Uzume, watch out! What? Huh? Nepgear! Hyperdimension! Woohoo! Wait, this isn't the time to celebrate! Isti, Isti, it's an emergency! Um, wait, Isti? That's weird. She's usually in my face as soon as I walk in, barraging me with a weird combo of welcome home and random lectures. Hey, Isti! I'm here! Holy crackers! Isti's passed out! Hey, Isti, are you alright? Yikes! She's burning up! Uh, to... Welcome home. I'm glad you made it safely back. I'm not important at the moment. Right now, I'm just worried about you. What happened? It is most embarrassing. But I tried my best to accomplish a task far above my specifications. Oh, Isti, you were doing this for us? By the way, where is Nep... What? Did Isti just short circuit? Why isn't she getting back up? Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck should I do? Jeez, Nep, what's this racket about? You haven't even been back five minutes and you're making a scene. You should at least come say hi first. Iffy! You have incredible timing! By the way, this girl here is Iffy. She works as a guild agent in Planetune, and she's a dear old friend of mine. Hey, come on, don't get weird. 
Did you want to see us that badly? <laughs> all right, all right, get off it already. Stop crying and getting your snot all over me. But, but, Isti is. Eastwar is what? Wait, Eastwar? Nep, what's going on? Well, you see, then yada yada blah and. This and that and the other thing, I see. Ooh, just as I'd expect from you, Iffy. We're definitely kindred spirits, if you can understand that. Whether we're kindred spirits really isn't important right now. We need to do something to help Eastwar. Nep, help me carry her. All right, we've laid her down for now. This is pretty troubling. I've called Kampa, but we don't know if the treatments we used are going to work. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yiffy. Oh, welcome home, Nep Nep. Long time no see, Kampa. Hmm? Were you not that worried about me being gone, perchance? Ah, uh, well, this isn't really the first time you've disappeared without telling anyone, Nep Nep. I figured you'd suddenly reappear eventually, like you usually do. Uh-huh. I can't tell whether you're really confident in me or if you just think I'm some kind of careless fool. This girl here is Kampa. Just like Iffy, she's a great friend of mine. She's a newbie, but nursing is her current occupation, and she works in public hospitals. Sorry for calling you so suddenly, Kampa. It's no big deal when it's a request from you, Iffy. And it's been quite a while since I've had a chance to see Nep Nep. So, do you think you can take a look at Eastwar? Her condition doesn't seem to have evolved from the stuff I texted you about earlier. Leave it to me! Well, I want to say that, but I think it'll be impossible with normal treatment methods. If I remember correctly, isn't she that artificial life form created by the Planetune CPU from forever ago? Yes, indeedy! I think it was a CPU named SC or SG or something like that. Then, do you think there might be a user's manual for Risty floating around somewhere? If it exists, I think some kind of troubleshooting information might be able to help us out. A user's manual? Even if one existed, I really doubt it's still around here. It'd be so old. Yes, seriously, she's not some run-of-the-mill consumer electronics device, so there isn't... Wait! There totally is an instruction manual! Are you kidding me? No joke, Iffy. I distinctly remember Isti going on and on about her manual once, many Planetune moons ago. Then, let's hop to it. Let's find the manual. Let's get it done.
hell did you say? Ooh. What the hell did you say?
Begin our battle. This is nothing. Let's get fired up. Your teeth are so. I'm going to cut you to pieces. Victory on this one blow. You're finished. My teeth are so Ouch. I'm going to cut you to pieces. I'll attack head on. Hurt you. This is nothing. It wasn't 